Welcome back to This Week, I'm Somna Sambo and we're still having the conversation on what happened at the National Assembly during the week on the Electoral Act Amendment Bill both in the Senate and in the House of Representatives. Now you're talking specifically about that provision of the Constitution that allows the National Assembly to superintend over INEC. Just when go you ahead. When talk about superintending over INEC, I must, must get it. And I think that's where people have come. There's a difference between establishing a legal framework and implementing a legal framework. Under our constitution, item 22 of the exclusive legislative list, which by virtue of section 4 of our constitution is between the exclusive legislative competence of National Assembly, we have the power to make law as to the election into the office of the president, vice president, governor, deputy governor, and any other offices created by law, except... And, and, and I would like to government. just read that and section 22 of that uh, item. Uh, yeah, item. It says, election to the offices of president and vice president or governor and deputy governor and any other office to which a person may be elected under this constitution, excluding election to a local government council or any office in such council. So, yeah, so, what the item the, on the so that it is on the basis of that item 22, that electoral law is being made by National Assembly. And what does an electoral law comp comp um, comprise? It comprises procedure of election. And that's why Section 52, one, talk about adoption of uh, open secret ballot. We could have adopted another mode by virtue of a law by the National Assembly. Secondly, the mode of nomination of candidates, the conduct of affairs of political party, and the actual conduct of the election itself, including mode of announcement of result, is part of what is within, within the province of the competence of the National Assembly. So this is quite different from the actual implementation of the law when the law had actually been passed. So by Section 78, when it comes to registration of voters and conduct of election, Section 78 of the Constitution give INEC independence as to implementation of those provisions. But to say that in order to make a determination whether we want to use a particular mode of transition of results that National Assembly does not have power to do so, we run foul of Section 4 and Act 22. Uh -oh. And that's our own understanding of the Constitution. And we, we, we challenge, and we say it, some people will say it's act of arrogance, challenge people who have contrary view to challenge our view in the law court. Because so, that the court so that the court, which is the ultimate arbiter in a constitutional contest, by virtue of Section 1, Section 3 of 1999 Constitution, the, 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 the Constitution says any, any law in concern with the provision of the Constitution will be declared null and void. But, but it will not be declared is that President Muhammad may not, be, it may not be, sign this will law not be again. declared null and void in, on the Arise television or in my room. It will be declared null and void in the court. Then secondly, too, as to even the state of the law today, we need to educate Nigerians. Uh, just like the PIB, there are now two fashions of that same subsection that have been passed by the two chambers. We run a bicameral legislators. The Senate comes with its own fashion, which is to the fact that NCC certification as to security of the network and coverage should be the basis upon which a determination will have to be made whether there will be electronic transmission or not. Oh, no. on, the, on, the, on, the, on the house, <laughs> talk about when INEC decides to be practicable. What we now do is this. There will be a conference committee of equal representation. So ultimately, what will go to Mr. President will be what comes out from the, the conference committee. And we conference will, I wouldn't would know, in honesty, what would be the ultimate language that the conference committee will adopt. So okay, for very, very interesting. who have concerns about this, they should lobby their representation. Yes, those and see, so, so there's still a window, still a window through the harmonized for whatever harmonization everybody committee. Wants to do. But as okay. far as we are concerned, what I find very uh, questionable is for people to, 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 to who have lost a democratic contest of idea at the National Assembly to be suggesting improper motive for some of us who believe that we have acted in the oh, best oh, interest okay. very, of very the interesting in indeed. Uh, let's go political now. A lot of people, particularly from um, the southern part of the country, said a lot of southern senators seem to have betrayed the collective agreement that the southern lawmakers had had with the southern governors. If the southern governors had supported electronic transmission of results, why would the southern senators, particularly some people that have always who been known said, as who progressive, said, who go said to southern the senators uh, betray electronic transmission? Well, for example, I voted for electronic transmission of results, but subject to certification of security and coverage of, of it, it is which that. in essence has been interpreted to read that, only that, that I not that only, me, no. I'm talking of what no, our viewers and Nigerians no, are saying. Please, I'm, I'm also, I'm, maybe I'm a Ghanaian, 
I'm also a Nigerian. <laughs> And the, the 52 senators that voted are also Nigerians. I think where this arrogance comes from, and I, 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 I don't like it, though, some people to assume they are in the best position to determine. I'm a lawyer, and I say that you cannot leave such important issues as to transition of election result to the vagary of uncertainty. Now, let's of, look at of, what of, happened of, at of, the House of Reps. The minority is complaining that they were not given a voice. Minority can always complain. That is why that's what democracy is about. Democracy is you have you say when you are minority, then the majority will have their way. At the national, uh, at the Senate, even though they are voted, the only thing they will do is they'll go about and, and, and lie. And I want to collect an impression for anybody to say that any senator voted against electoral transmission is unfortunate, is a lie. And that so, lie. So, what did you yeah, vote? We, I voted for electoral transmission subject to certification of security and network coverage uh, to be able to support that process. Well, and, and the NCC is saying that uh, presently we have. Only 50% network coverage in voting areas. Do you think that may have given you a soft I'm not, landing? I'm not, I'm not an expert. No, do you I'm think not, it gave you a soft, a soft landing? landing. <laughs> a soft landing, please. And that is also, and I want to also keenly let us know, we have majority in both chambers. And so the APC no, I'm just, I'm just, majority. I'm just giving you the majority in both chambers. What the minority in the House of Rep walk away with was what was defeated at the Senate. I don't want to point out to Rover that way. It is just ruderless politician that will say that it is APC position that was taken. If it had been that it is APC position, the same position taken by majority in the Senate would have been the same position taken by majority in the House of Rep. Do you but think no, that PF, uh, voted, do, do you think that voted, PDP driving this voted, conversation at a point in time of they, made the APC to suspect that something was going no, on? It's not that we voted. I'm telling you, as Ajibola Bashiru, I've, I've had occasions to raise issues against the majority position, if I confess, I'm convinced that you cannot leave issue of transmission of election result to vagary of manipulation by, by anybody, including my own political party. And that is my own position. So but what I'm also saying is, is I want you to get this, this point, that assuming there is a conspiracy by APC against electronic transmission, the results at the uh, House of Rep and that of the Senate would have been the same. But we have two different fashion coming out. That means that Independent legislators using their own understanding had actually voted at different chambers to there. Our political party and I dare say did not call any us to any meeting, did not give us any direction as to the manner that we vote. Some members of the PDP voted against that language of uh, uh, oh, where oh, and okay, very, very Did they also try to round off this conversation? Let's talk about some other parts of this bill. Uh, for example, raising um, funding. Uh, for people who want to contest presidential election to 15 billion. How many Nigerians do you think have that capacity to be able to raise 15 billion naira to run for presidential elections? You see, uh, I'm not talking for the, for the Senate and speaking as a Nigerian, I think presidential system of government will need to be looked at as far as Nigeria is concerned. Conducting presidential election is very expensive, not only from the point of view of politicians that are involved for the point of view of even uh, the, uh, the, 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 the national I mean, resources. You are talking of conducting elections in about 200,000 I mean, polling units uh, in the 774 I mean, local uh, government. So I would say that when you look in real time as to the cost of uh, conducting election from the point of view of political party, and they've been able to do so well, maybe 15 billion may not be enough. And, and for but senators, 5 billion, will you and, be able to raise 5 billion? I can't, as I can't, a I can't. You see, they, <laughs> before, they put it, before they put it at 5 billion, means that maybe somebody who is uh, very rich will be able to come and obsess because I don't even have 100 million, I don't even have 50 million <laughs> to conduct I an mean, election. And that's the truth about it. I voted on the credibility of I mean, uh, the leadership of my party and myself and this acceptance of the electorate is also central. I'm not a big uh, uh, money. Uh, uh, I don't uh, have uh, money. We, we must thank you.